Have you ever needed to find a newspaper article for an assignment? Searching on the internet can be tricky because many newspapers require you to pay for access to older articles, and some even charge you to view recent articles. One resource you might be interested in is ProQuest News and Newspapers. This database has content from the New York Times and Wall Street Journal and is available to you instantly and without needing to pony up some extra cash to complete your research. To access ProQuest News and Newspapers database, go to www.harrison.edu slash LRC and then click on the All Databases tab. Scroll down to the alphabetical list to P and click on the ProQuest News and Newspapers link. Now let's take a look at how to perform successful searches in the ProQuest News and Newspaper database. On the opening screen, you'll see a free text search box where you can enter your keywords. Below that is a list of the two newspapers we have access to through ProQuest News and Newspapers, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Typing a search into the free text search box will search both news publications. If you want to search specifically within one of the other publications, you can click on the word search next to the desired newspaper. Let's say we want to find newspaper articles about risk factors of heart disease. Just a reminder, ProQuest only contains news sources, not academic journal articles. For this search, we will look within both newspapers, so simply enter the terms in the search box. You would type in heart disease risk factors. If you only want to bring back results that are full text, check mark the full text box that is directly under the search box. Let's just hit the little magnifying glass to start the search and see what happens. Our search turns up almost 3,000 full text results. To see a preview of the article, click on the preview button. To go to the full text article, click on the title of the article. Notice how your search terms are highlighted every time they appear within the article. If you want to disable the highlighting, you can click on Hide Highlighting. Along the top blue taskbar are several options to choose from. If you click the Save to My Research, you'll be prompted to create a research account. After the first time creating a research account, you'll only need to enter your username and password. This will let you store documents from multiple sessions. You can also email, print, or save the article. Clicking on the Cite link will produce an APA citation. The citations that are created will not be perfect and may need some minor adjustments with things like capitalization. However, the list will include most of the needed information. Click the Back to Results link at the top of the page to return to your original search results. You'll notice the blue taskbar is above the results list as well. Check the box next to two or more articles to save, email, print, or cite multiple articles at once. If you want to modify your search, you can use the options along the right-hand side of the screen. For instance, if you want to limit your search to the last 10 years, you can click on the Enter a Specific Date Range and type in 05-01-2002 to 05-01-2012. This will limit your search to the past 10 years. Then click Update. Now the results will only show articles published within the last 10 years. Similarly, you can use the right-hand options to change how your results are displayed. The default display is relevance, but you can change this to show your results in order of publication date, either oldest to newest or newest to oldest. The last thing to point out is the suggested subjects box at the top of the screen. One important thing to note is that instead of heart disease, they've used the term cardiovascular disease. You can click on any one of these suggested subjects to perform a search using those keywords. For example, if we click on the suggested search, risk factors in cardiovascular disease, we now get 22 results. It's a good idea to see what subject terms are suggested because it might help you find more specific or alternate keywords for your searches. If at any point you want to change your search terms or start over, click Modify Search at the top of the page. From here, you can enter new search terms. If you need help at any point in the process, please feel free to chat or email a librarian at harrison.librarian at harrison.edu. Happy searching!